Hey students, welcome to Unit 6 on Genetics and Biotechnology. Today is our first day of the lesson and you will be learning how certain plants have medicinal properties and how scientists can study plants to identify molecules and compounds that could possibly be used in medicines and drugs to treat diseases such as cancer. In today's lesson, I will be teaching you how to use the KWL chart as a way to activate prior knowledge on the top and promote active reading in learning. You are going to love this activity. It's very easy to follow. So let's begin. First, open the paper that your teacher has prepared for you on Unit 6, Genetics and Biotechnology. And your paper should look like this. On the top of your paper, you always have the lesson objective that is visible for you. And we just read that lesson, but we can read it again. You are going to learn how certain plants have medicinal properties and how scientists can study plants to identify molecules and compounds that could possibly be used in medicines and drugs to treat diseases such as cancer. Now, your teacher has instructed to read. Your reading is titled, Researchers Uncover Mechanism for Cancer Killing Properties of Pepper Plant. And it looks like this. On the top of your article, your headline reads, Researchers Uncover Mechanism for Cancer Killing Properties of Pepper Plant. There is also a subheading just below it that gives us more information. Could the chemical properties in a pepper plant defeat cancer? Researchers at UT Southwestern are one step closer to find out. A subheading is text placed under a headline, often with a smaller font, which expands on what the headline says and which purpose is also to create expectation about the reading. The reading seems to have a lot of specific vocabulary. So to make things a little bit easier for you, before we read, we are going to fill out the KWL chart that will help us tackle the reading with a purpose. Let's begin. As we can see, we have three columns for this activity. The first column, the K column, we are going to write anything that we think we know about the topic. These may be things that we know from prior knowledge or that we think they are connected to the topic as well. We can even write examples and I'm gonna create one example for you in a minute. In the second column, the W column, we are going to write things that we would like to know about the topic from the reading. And the final column is going to be about things that we learn from the reading. So we are going to fill out this column after we read the article, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the title of the article again. Researchers uncover mechanism for cancer killing properties of pepper plant. Hmm. I'm going to start by filling out the first column. One thing that I think I know about the topic is that the topic or the reading is going to be talking about cancer killing. And I think I know what cancer killing means. I'm going to write it on the first column. All right, so I think that cancer killing means that something, maybe a drug or a treatment, that is able to kill cancer. I also know what cancer is. Cancer is a group of diseases that affect different organs of the body. Make sure you look at the title of the article from time to time as you write your thoughts so you stay focused on the topic that you are going to read about. So in that column, you can keep writing. You can keep writing about the examples. You can talk about pepper plants. You can also talk about researchers or what the word uncover means, or you can just like read the subheadings and talk about chemical properties or about what the word defeat or the word finding out may mean for you. So now let's gonna move ahead and we are going to fill column number two about what do we want to know about the topic. And the key in here is just like writing questions about the topic that you would like the article to answer for you. I'm going to start with wondering how does pepper plant defeat cancer? I would also like to know which ones are the chemicals that pepper plants contain. 
other things that you may want to ask in here are maybe who are these researchers that are studying uh, pepper plants? Why are they studying it? How did they find out about these uh, properties and what's going to happen next because of this article? We are going to read the article now and we are going to leave this last column for the end. All right, so here we have our article. We do have the headline and we have the subheadings that we already talked about. And the article starts by saying, stating where the article was written and when. As you read the article, my advice for you is to have a highlighter or a virtual highlighter if you're reading this in your computer and also to circle words that you may not um, understand yet. Um, just like a write down your ideas and just like annotate the article as you read along. I'm going to model some of this for you. All right, so I start reading Dallas, January 3rd, 2017. So I know this article has already three years. UT Southwestern Medical Center scientists have uncovered the chemical process behind anti-cancer properties of a spicy Indian pepper plant called the long pepper. So this is more information for me about the pepper plant. It's spicy and it's from India. So I'm going to go ahead and circle that information. I keep reading, who suspected medic medicinal properties take back thousands of years? So it seems that we knew about this long time ago, maybe not related to cancer, but we already suspected that means that we already knew or we thought we knew that this pepper plant has medicinal properties. And what does medicinal properties mean? All right, so it means that maybe it can cure diseases. More information is coming, coming up. The secret lies in a chemical called Piper Longomine, PL, which has shown activity against many cancers, including prostate, breast, lung, colon, lymphoma, leukemia, primary brain tumors, and gastric cancer. I'm going to annotate in here that these are examples of cancer, and I'm going to also annotate that this chemical has shown activity against those, meaning that it has shown that it can fight those cancers. You will keep reading the article doing the same that I was doing um, with you right now. And by doing this, you will be able to extract so much information of the article that you will be ready to tackle the next activity, which is answering some of the questions from the article on a Jamboard collaborative activity. Okay, so this is the activity that is coming next and you're going to see that thanks to the extensive reading that we have done already, filling out these questions is going to be very easy. Let's start with the first one. What chemical in the Indian long pepper plant can be used as a medicine? We already read that in our first paragraph. I just have to go to the reading and look for the answer. What kind of diseases can it treat? In the same manner that we have done with question number one, we already annotated what types of cancers this um, chemical is able to fight. You will keep doing the same thing with the next questions and you are going to see that thanks to the previous activity that we have done, your, um, your ability of answering the questions is going to increase. Before concluding the class, don't forget to come to our KWL chart and write down on the last column what did you learn about the topic today. Thank you for listening and I hope this was very useful for you. Bye-bye.